Mazes are fascinating and today we'll see how to create a maze using Prim's algorithm. Prim's is an algorithm to find a minimum spanning tree from a weighted undirected graph. Weighted means all the edges have weights or costs and undirected means that the edges do not have a single direction. And what is a minimum spanning tree? It is a subgraph that connects all the nodes in the original graph without any cycles and a minimum total weight. Let's take this graph. If we start at node A and pick the minimum outgoing edge, we might pick this one. And that will include E to the list of visited nodes. Now we have to pick the next minimum edge out of any visited nodes towards the unvisited ones. We would pick this one. Repeat the process and we'll get our minimum spanning tree. Notice how the total number of edges is one less than the total number of nodes. So how can Prim's algorithm help us in generating a maze? The key lies in how we visualize our graph. Let us take this grid-like graph. It is an unweighted graph, so prims cannot be applied directly. So instead of picking an edge based on minimum weight, we'll pick an edge randomly. And applying prims randomized, we might get this minimum spanning tree. And if we tweak our visualization, it starts to look like a maze. It has a single entrance and a single exit point. Let's code it and see it in action. Here we have a class prims randomized which takes row length which is the number of nodes in a single row. And in a grid like graph there would be as many rows. And in our prims MST method we define our minimum spanning tree as an adjacency list. And it has four connections for every node in the graph. A zero means that this node does not have a connection in that direction and a one means that it does. Add all the nodes to the list of nodes to visit. Pick the first node, add it to the list of visited nodes and remove it from to visit. Then we pick all the outgoing edges from visited nodes towards unvisited ones. We pick a random edge and we extract the edges involved in this edge. Then we get the direction of the edge from our current node and we add an edge in our minimum spanning tree for this node in this direction. We do the same for our next node except the direction would be facing our current node. Then we add our next node to the list of visited nodes and remove it from to visit. And we repeat the process until we have visited all the nodes and we'll have our minimum spanning tree. Let's visualize our maze. We'll use Turtle, which is a Python library that comes with your Python installation and it makes it very easy to create mathematical shapes. Let's create a scare using Turtle. We take some side length and here we want to make sure that the center of our coordinate system is in the center of our sphere. So we set x, y points accordingly. Using go to method, we go to the starting position and we draw the first line, turn 90 degrees and repeat the same for all the four sides. Let's create a sphere. Looks good, except we have a line from our origin to our starting XY position. So to remove it, before going to the XY position, we'll pick the pen up and after it, we'll put the pen down. And that removes that initial line. Let's see how we can create a grid of scares. We want to have n rows and in each row we want to have n scares. Here we are drawing all the four sides of our scare, moving into the position to draw the next scare 
and repeat it for the whole row and then move to the next row. And here we have our create, except it is a bit slow and we also want to remove this pointer. So let's hide turtle and set the speed to 30. Now we have a pretty good grid and you can guess that if we remove certain lines it will look like a maze. Our create maze method extends our create grid method. Here we first create our minimum spanning tree for a graph with side length of n and we convert the 2D coordinates of our scare in the grid to corresponding 1D index in minimum spanning tree. Then we check whether this node has a connection in top direction. If so, we don't want to draw the line between this node and the top node. So we pick the pen up. We do the same for all the directions. And here we also have a special case where we don't want to draw the right line for the very last scare of our maze. We want that open side to serve as the exit gate. And here we have the second special case where we don't want to draw the left line of our very first scale that would serve as the entry point. And if we run this method, we can see a pretty convincing maze. So let's do it as a bigger scale. Fast forward and we have our scare maze based on prims randomized. There are some shortcomings to this method of maze generation. Can you point them out? We will fix them in the next video.